For most parents, making sure that their offspring have a steady career is probably the number one priority. But just what is a real job these days anyway? Carly Oersthaisen was on her way to becoming a suit in a law firm when she decided to embark on a musical adventure. And now, she's DJ Carly O. Carly has loved keyboards ever since she was a six-year-old. She excelled in music throughout her school days, but when the time came to prepare for a career, law seemed like a sensible choice. Then again, where's the passion in being sensible? The heart wants what the heart wants. And DJ Carly O listened to the call of her heart when she gave up her law degree to pursue her career in DJing. I'm excited to meet up with her and find out why music gets her heart beating just a little bit faster. Hi, Carly. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, nice to see you. That sounded amazing. Are you working on something new at the moment? Yeah, it's actually the track that I was doing for you guys at Mela. Um, it's got a little bit of like an Indian flavor to it with some, um, with the sitar and the tabla and stuff like that. So yeah, do you want to hear it? I'd love to hear it, it sounds cool. amazing. You can hear it. I can hear the sitar yeah, yeah. And, and the tabla. Sounds really cool. It's different. It's something I haven't done before, but it's a really cool sound. Oh, thank sounds you. really good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Carly, it was a big risk for you to leave the comfort of a law degree to pursue a career in DJ. I've always wanted to be a DJ, so I kind of just, in the spur of the moment, took that passion and that exhaustion from studying something that I didn't really want to do, and I just pushed it straight into music. Carly, you have a very awesome, interesting style. How did that evolve, and how has that become your brand? I've always been the funky, fashionable, artsy kind of girl. So I like to think of my outlook and my hair as an extension of my outfit. So it's not just hair for me, it's like an accessory. How do you go about creating your tracks? Is there a specific process that you go through? When starting with the production of a song, I um, usually start with the bass line, just to get the timing and the BPM of the song. And then I'll work with the melody. So that's basically just playing something on the keyboard. I like to use a keyboard because I'm trained in piano. So I mean, it's something I'm familiar with. And then we can change the synths of what the keyboard sounds like. So it won't sound like a piano. You could change it to sound like a sitar or a tabla or whatever it is. You've worked on some pretty amazing projects. Tell me a bit about that. The latest track that we've released at the moment is Detonate. I uh, released that at Trans NRG in Richards Bay. It was a really big event, about a thousand people through the whole night coming in just to see myself. And it was really a phenomenal experience. That was the major one so far. I'm a huge foodie, Kali, so I'm always curious to find out what other people love to indulge in. I would say my favorite snacks are samosas. Uh, my mom's mom, my grand from my mom's side, makes the most amazing ones. I actually have a lunch date plan with my mom now for Mother's Day, so maybe we should head over there. Let's go. Okay. The weather hadn't entered into the spirit of Mother's Day at all, but the overcast sky wasn't going to spoil Carly's time with her mum or keep her away from her favourite snacks. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. This is my mum. So Mary lovely Hiya. to meet you. Hi. Hi. Pleasure. Should we have a seat? Yes, let's sure. do that. So, Carly, is this something you guys do? Often, how important is family to both of you? Family in general is very important to us. Um, every, I think it's like once or twice a week, we, we have dinner at the table together. We chat about everything that we've done through the week, what our goals are for the next week, what our plans are long term, short term, what the good news is. Mom, how do you feel about Carly's career choice? Carly's quite excited by the fact that she's a law school dropout, as she says. But you know, to be a DJ and to be a young person today is very, very challenging. And we've seen her soar to great heights, doing something she loves. The thing about life is best you do something you love, do it with passion, do it well, and have fun. Carly, I know you said you love samosas, and those look delicious, so should we tuck in? I've been waiting, I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Is it good? So good. You don't only produce music, you also love performing live. Yes, absolutely love it. In fact, I've got a gig to get to. I'm so excited. Let's go. Bye bye, love. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, love you. Thank See you. you. Bye bye. Lovely meeting you. You bye. too. Bye bye. Carly had promised Karishma that she could be her intern for an hour or two. But a DJ's office hours only begin once the moon has risen and the disco ball starts showering stars. 
Kali, this is very much your comfort zone. This is it. This is my spot. <laughs> Any advice for young aspiring DJs? Always try to find out as much feedback from your sets as you can because, I mean, you are playing for the audience. You're not necessarily, even though you do this job for yourself, you need to rely on the crowd for them to give you that response. That's what fuels a career. Now, I cannot wait to get my groove on a little bit. So, are you going to play me some music? Yes. You're unlikely to find Carly on the dance floor because she believes it all comes together behind the decks. For this rising DJ star, the faders and platters are like the keys on the piano and her nimble fingers shape the mood of the moment. 